So, Lumicraft's been a part of my family for a long time, and uh, that's kind of what started the passion for me for off-road. Um, I mainly come from the dunes background and the sand car side of things, which Lumicraft does do a lot of that, but you know the main focus of it has always been the racing part. So that's how I got introduced to it, and just had a unique opportunity to become involved in the business. You know, my role is mainly uh, as a back-end administrative business side of things. Yeah, so for me, um, I was kind of born into off-road. Uh, my dad owned a company called Major Performance, building race motors for a number of years. And um, I actually started at Chenoweth with uh, Ryan Thomas and Mike Thomas. And I actually used to help um, Todd Tenbrook, who from is owner of SCG now, um, him and I, he prepped a Millennium for Ryan Thomas, and then I was basically his shop helper. And then uh, got hired out of there um, into a Lumacraft 28 years ago, and was lucky enough to have Sean Cooley as a mentor, and grew up, you know, basically my adult life in this business. You know, we've built a few trucks. Um, there's been a lot of people have kind of picked and chose different races they want to do. Um, we have Hagels in a 6100 truck now running score. Last year was their first year and we're really excited to see what they can do this year. Um, I think they definitely have the ability to do some great things in that class just like they did in class 10. And I think there is still uh, an opportunity to build some competitive two-wheel drive trucks. Brock's a phenomenal driver. He's He's very talented, um, he's capable, he's already shown he's capable of running with, you know, those top guys. Um, sure, he's got a big fight ahead of him, but we're excited to see what he can do. I think class one, in my opinion, is it the beginning of a resurgence. Class one's really got priced very high, almost to where they were getting to the point competing with trucks, and I think a lot of people looked at it and were saying, you know, if we're going to spend this much, we may as well just jump into a truck. And we have some some options that have brought that price point down quite a bit um, and have shown to be very competitive. We already are producing a lot of Class 1 cars versus just two or three years ago. So, you know, we, we are seeing the resurgence there of that class, which is going to drive a lot of excitement just because it's a great price point for what you're getting. Like you were saying, the entries are getting higher there. We've seen Connor dominate with a, a crate motor class one car, which is gonna drive a lot of excitement around that as well. You know, prepping a class one car is not much different with a spec motor than it is a class 10 car. So if you wanna go out there and compete with all the guys, uh, you can run a class one car with a spec motor.